Good afternoon, Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com here with a Hurricane and Hurricane HD on the road video blog. I'm actually in Georgia heading home from a project I was doing with CNN. You might remember me mentioning that last week. Here is Tropical Storm Debbie. You can see it has a pretty defined comma shape to it. Much more of a comma shape than a round, very well organized tropical storm, tropical cyclone to be a general in general terms. And I think that's good because if it was more round in appearance and less comma shaped, then that would show that we have something that's strengthening. Uh, nevertheless, the intense rainfall across a good deal of Florida continues, as you all that live there are very well aware. And you can see even on here the comma shape to the rain. That indicates to me that it's heavily weighted over on the north and east side, the precip shield. It's not round like you see with a very well organized tropical cyclone. And if we go up here and look at the very latest computer model guidance, I want to point out something, and this is the 18 UTC computer guidance. That means it's the 2 p.m. update of these numerical models that the Hurricane Center puts out. And it initializes it at 50 knots, 54 knots in 12 hours, 57 knots in 24 hours, 58 knots. And then finally, 56, 51, 45, and 32. The bottom line, there is no hurricane wind in the ship's model. It has yet to do that. So that might be good news. The pressure here they initialized at, it looks like 993 millibars right there. And so it may not make it to hurricane strength, which would certainly be good news for everybody involved, especially if it does in fact head towards southeast Louisiana here you don't need any hurricanes coming into your area. One thing it will do is dump a lot of rain over this region. It's already done so in Florida and I'm telling you the central Gulf Coast through here you're gonna have a lot of rainfall with this system regardless of the hurricane conditions that might be possible rainfall could be your biggest enemy so please keep that in mind and use weather.gov, put in your zip code, and it'll tell you all kinds of information when you get the return screen of local conditions in your area, which can be very helpful. So there you go. That's what it looks like here from inside of the HurricaneTrack.com Chevy Tahoe on our laptop as I'm on my way back from Georgia. I'll be deciding tomorrow morning if I'm going to be heading down here to the Gulf Coast for coverage of the storm if I do then I'll keep having these updates on the road as I travel. And if I don't, meaning that I don't think it'll be a hurricane, I'll be uh, producing updates from my office back in North Carolina. Either way, have yourselves a good rest of your Sunday. I am Mark Suddeth for HurricaneTrack.com, and this has been a Hurricane and Hurricane HD video blog.